I'm going to take you to a ride for one of my favorite writers of all time. Those of you familiar with that. Maybe you never heard of him. Unfortunately, not a lot of people study this book. It makes me very sad. It's called Divrei Chaim. Anybody heard? Nobody knows what Divrei Chaim is. It's OK, too. It's, it's just, uh, I went to Boropak, and I tried to tell people it's time to study Divrei Chaim. Say, eh, too much Kabbalah, Zohar, this. It's not too much Kabbalah. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. And if somebody struggles with Divrei Chaim, please see me. I'm as big as uh, a senator, lawyer. Because it's important. Without Divrei Chaim, you cannot understand a lot of things in life. A person should worship the Creator without thinking what the reward will be. We're supposed to develop some type of relationship with God. Relationship with God. We cannot think about, you know, I'm coming. It's Hanukkah. I'm seeing my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother or father. Now they're going to give me a gift. Hanukkah is supposed to get a gift. No. Hanukkah, I want to have a better relationship with my mother, better relationship with my father, if they're still alive, better relationship with my grandfather, my grandmother. The same thing with the Creator. You want to get to a place when you do the mitzvot for one reason. How can I connect to that force that created me? If you believe that that force created you. Because in life, there is three types of relationships you have to develop. Only three. Life is simple. With yourself, with people, and with the creator. If you don't believe that there is a creator, I know the one time a chassid that left all religion came to see me. His friend told him, you're going to see Aliyah. He's going to put you right on the... I said, don't promise things like this. It was doing the COVID. He's coming to where the yard in LA. And he's, uh, he decided to, to become against religion, against God. He's a, a drummer, famous drummer, a famous band. So he comes to see me. And he tells me, I'm going to challenge you. I said, okay, what's the challenge? He said, I want you to know I hate God. I can't stand God. This has nothing to do with God. I want you to know that. I said, that's a great news. I said, great news? You should not tell me it's a great news. I said, it's a great news. You have a relationship. You have a relationship. It's like fighting with your wife. Okay. You're fighting. You're in a season of fighting. Soon, you're going to make peace. Soon, avatavo. Not having anything with God, it's a problem. You're upset. I said, can you tell me why you're upset with God? So, well, I was in love with the girl, and then we're about to get married. And one month before we get married, she found another one. And I know it was God, because I went to Yerushalayim to pray, and I did everything, and I studied extra Torah time. It was, it was an avrech. It was an yeshiva. And that's what happened. So I'm very upset with God. I said, Baruch Hashem, hold on to that moment. Talk to Hashem how much you're upset. But have a relationship with Hashem. Don't ever be in a place. Don't ever be in a place that you have nothing to do with the Creator. You're upset, we can take it. You're in love, we can take it. Nothing going on, Chaz Shalom. That place is the most dangerous place to be. Vegam ba'avera. If a person commits a crime... Don't stop yourself doing a sin because you're afraid to be punished. Just because you hate doing bad things. Don't all day long. Well, if I steal, I lose my business. No. If you steal, you're doing something that the creator who created you asked you not to do. Very simple. So I'm stop doing it. To be simple. To develop a relationship with the creator. When you have a relationship with the creator, it's different than your relationship with people. I know people who are excellent with people, but terrible with God. How can that be? How can that such a thing? With people, you can fake it. With people, you get benefit. You're nice to them, they're nice to you. Smile to them, they smile to you. You give them a gift, they give you usually give it back. That relationship is missing something. With the creator, is a very different level of relationship. First, you don't know if you did well or you don't. You come to Rosh Hashanah, you hope you did well. I mean, you really know if you didn't or you did. You know that. So the relationship with the creator makes you more balanced. You have a different level of understanding to life. It's bigger. It's bigger than life. It's bigger than people. Every person, you know, if you live in Manhattan, for example, I always tell people, they tell me, I want to do it but they do it. I want to have a moment for myself to connect to God. Go to the river. I mean, don't jump. Just, just look at the river. Okay? Go to the park. It doesn't matter where you are. You can, you can make it. 
if you're Breslev, or if you're, I don't know, Baal Shem Tov, uh, big fan, you know, that you believe in it, but they do, do it. You know, when the Baal Shem Tov, uh, when he used to pray, he used to go to a forest. And that forest was very special. He used to make a pray there. And whatever he prayed yeah, happened. That's a Baal Shem Tov. After he passed away, the Megid Memesrich told this Hasidim, he said, well, I know it's in this forest, but I don't know which tree. Rabbi Elimelech, after Rabbi Elimelech of Lizhensk, the brother of Rav Zusha, you know, said, I don't know exactly where in the forest, but I know it's in this area, but I know it's about it. And then, of course, Hasidim after that, and after that, uh, with the time, it was gone. What I'm trying to tell you, my friend, it doesn't matter where you are. The creator, the creator, and you always have a connection because the creator al already sent you the connection. Just you need to connect back. It's all what needed. It doesn't need a lot. So when you do something wrong, don't worry about your father punishing you or your father rewarding you. Forget about the reward. What kind of relationship if all day long you worry if he punish you or if he reward you? What kind of relationship is that? You want to have dvekut. You want to have dvekut. Devik, dvekut is like devik, like, like glue with the creator. That's what you want to create. And he say like this. Gitil is a section in the Talmud. A person who's going through a rough time know that I know I'm paying back for something I did wrong, but I'm happy with that. So somebody's eating the toes, the small toes with the corner of the bed in the morning, and it starts hurting you. You say, ah, I know what happened. Yesterday I wasn't so nice to my wife. I wasn't so nice to my husband. I wasn't so nice to my neighbor. Hashem is remind me how painful it is. Hashem, thank you, God. When things go wrong, when things go wrong and it's painful, it's usually a message from Hashem, a message from the Creator. When things go right, stop and check what's going on. What are you doing wrong? Every time things go right, stop, look around. Who's fooling you? When things go wrong, Baruch Hashem, there is a message here. You go by, in Manhattan, there is those pigeons, you know, that I learned in less than a year here. You got to be careful. Those, those dove or your pigeon, I don't know the difference. You know, they do what they have to do, you know. They do what they have to do. But what will make them miss that person and don't miss the head of that person? You think it's uh, coincidence? No. To the tip. I had two people one time. One is a doctor from Germany, and one is a businessman. And the doctor from Germany was, is religious all his life. The businessman just started to come close to Torah a little bit and study mitzvot. And they're both sitting in where there is a large crowd. And the one who's just close to, close to the Torah is, is more warm and like he's excited about it. And he believed that even the pigeon, whatever is happening in heaven is from Shamaim. And uh, as he speak about it, his friend get, you know, a serious, I guess it was a big bird, you know, exactly on his forehead. And he felt bad for him, but he said to him, from all people, you, you are the one who is always preaching everybody that you have to be more, you have to do this. this. And he told him, maybe you should be quiet. It was not nice how we spoke to him. And as he finished that, and getting into his car, he has a flat tire. So then the other guy spoke, and I, I'm there. I'm happy to be in between, between them. And uh, everybody blaming everybody. And the idea, my friend, whatever you're going through right now in your life, I don't know what it is. I'm sure you have one little pain. I'm sure. It's normal. And one good thing. It's normal too. Remember the reward or the punishment. It's not the connection with God. The connection with God is the act itself. You pour the wine for the cup on Shabbat, that's a connection with God. What's going to happen if you're going to get good or bad? Blow in your knee, it's not my business. Blow in your knee. I see people doing the wrong thing at the airport, and you judge them, and you, you want to help? Help. You don't want to help? Don't help. Don't look for the reward when you help, and don't look for the punishment when you don't. וסיבחו לצדיקים בייסורים שבזה נפטרים מהעבירה, they're so happy, they're righteous when they go into pain because they know, like this, they remove uh, all the negativity. ולזה אמר משה רבנו עליו השלום, ראה, 
That's what Moses said, Re'e, see, vision. I know a vision, Shanochi noten lefrachem ba'atzvot barachah veklala. I'm giving you blessing and I'm giving you a curse. Lo mikri v'gam ayom anochi noten lefrachem v'shat ma'ase, ki abracha hi etzam ha'mitzvah. You want to know the blessing is the mitzvah itself. Mitzvah itself, there is a place in Borough Park, it's a shul, very special shul, you should visit it, very unique. I think it's called Shober Shabbat, Shobre Shabbat, I think it's called, well, wonderful shul, no rabbi. Ten come, ten go. It's like to go. It's a pray to go. It's a most fascinating. My favor. I walk in. There is, because I love, uh, sometimes I cannot, uh, 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 I'm afraid I will miss Minyan. So I'm panicking in Manhattan. Where is the Minyan? I don't want to miss the Milcha. There, you miss, there is another one. And I thought they were joking. Till 2 a.m. It's keep going. You, you miss it. You go there. It's a keep going. And it's keep going. And it's keep going. Shachrit. 80 Minyanim, I think. It's never end. Beautiful concept. And I'm looking at the people, I say, I think every one of them is so excited there because they know that the mitzvah itself is the most important thing. It's not that they're doing it because they want to show off. That's what they do. They come to do the mitzvah. They come to connect to the creator. You're about to commit a sin. Don't worry about being punished. Let's say you're not going to be punished. Would you do it? Let's say you're not going to get a reward. Would you do it? That's a test. That's the test. That's the test. You give ma'aser. People say, the Gemara here, the rabbi say, ten ma'aser shatit asher. Give 10% of your money after tax and you will be rich. Are you doing it because you won't be rich or because it's written that you should give ma'aser? Think about it. This is called vekut or not vekut. The relationship with God only begins when you're not thinking about what's in it for me. So that's what the Zohar is mentioned about the whole idea. The whole idea is to get, not to be the opposite of the creator, not to be that we want to receive the goodness of the creator, not because we want it, because we know how much pleasure the creator has when he gives it to us. 